So another controversial thing that I teach is I don't tell my clients to train for eye contact. I don't train for eye contact myself when I work with dogs. Eye contact to me is a byproduct of a healthy relationship. Sometimes when we're scrambling to capture eye contact, especially with fearful, anxious, reactive, or aggressive dogs, we can wind up capturing the wrong mindset. So imagine having a dog who's fearful and anxious and stressed the whole time and we're begging them for eye contact, right? Well, now we're just getting fearful, anxious, stressed eye contact, and we actually wind up nurturing that state of mind. And we think, well, the dog's looking at me and not the other dog, so clearly we're making progress. But you're nurturing the same mindset. It's the same anxious look at the dog and the same anxious look at you. And we wonder why reactivity continues. So I'm a much bigger fan of waiting for that natural soft eye contact and nurturing that, nurturing that with some touch, nurturing that with some praise or something like that, rather than begging the frantic anxious dog to make eye contact with me and then capturing that eye contact and continuing to have reactivity, anxiety, etc. We can coach our dogs significantly better by working with our leash, working through movement, using marker words to take that mindset down and wait for that natural calm eye contact to come out after.